Hello, I'm Dwayne from Chatting Local, and I have Gay from the Greenville Area Chamber of Commerce with me today. Gay, thank you so much for taking time to speak with us. Sure, happy to be here, Dwayne. Can you tell me what is happening in the Greenville area and around Montcalm County that, that you can share with us? Well, first of all, um, first and foremost, everyone stay home, stay safe. Yes. Um, we want to get through this as quick as we can. It, of course, is going to have an impact on our local economy. So at our office, we're doing what we can on our end to make sure we're getting information out to our, our members and, and businesses in general on all the um, state and federal level, all the business resources that are coming down the pipeline. And with that, the SBA has programs going on right now that businesses can can uh, sign up for. Can you tell me a little bit about what is out there, what you know? The Small Business Administration has declared all the, um, the Great Lakes region, all of our these states eligible for their disaster assistant loans. Um, these loans you will need to apply online to their website. We've provided that on our, on our website, greenvillemi.org backslash chamber. We'll have that information. This loan you'll need to apply online. online. These are um, uh, you know, low percent long-term loans that will enable businesses to keep their uh, payments low for repayment. Um, and then a new program that has come down through the pipeline through the CARES Act that was just passed um, through legislation for stimulus is the SBA Paycheck Protection Program. This will be separate from the disaster assistant loans, completely separate. And with this program, you'll need to, businesses will need to contact their local lender. Do not go through the SBA website on this. This is a loan forgiveness tool that allows businesses that are maintaining some level of um, payroll uh, continuity um, that allows them um, forgiveness for eight weeks on payroll, payroll cost, mortgage interest, rents and utilities. Um, it, it's a fantastic program and we've, it just came down through the pipelines and we've gotten a lot of calls and I know some of our local bankers have gotten calls too. Um, I, did get notice on this at midnight from the U.S. Chamber that they do have a date now where this will be open and um, applications will be able to be submitted and those that will start happening Friday, April 3rd. But you need to do this through your local your local lender. So there are services and, and resources out there for businesses and they can they can get with you at the chamber or go to the SBA or like you've mentioned, you know, some of the stuff you have to work through your local lenders. So, you know, just be aware, educate yourself, make phone calls, you know, check in with people. Absolutely. Um, and the loan or the payroll protection program um, is 100% guaranteed by the SBA, but they're allowing the lenders at the local level to release these funds so that they can expedite the funds that are going to be uh, uh, through this pro program. So it is set up so that it'll be quick, um, but there, it is, there is a little bit of a process that you'll have to go through. And they're being bombarded right now, I'm sure. Uh, so I guess we have to be patient with a lot of things. Yes, we do. They're literally driving the car as they're building it with some of these programs. So everyone be patient. Let's switch it just a little bit on a positive note, do you have anything for the uh, community, uh, any tips or anything that you can share? It's hard to say what this is going to look like uh, when the dust settles. It's obviously our local economy is going to be impacted, but there are ways that, that you can still support our local businesses, and that's what um, the Chamber is really encouraging. Uh, shop online. A lot of our little uh, rest or restaurants and or retail stores have um, online um, merchandise available. Our local businesses are still working and if they have online business, please support that. Um, also, please buy uh, gift cards. I know right now you may not have any use for them, but save them for birthday presents and Christmas presents next year. 
Um, most of the time, they're at least a year expiration on that. So that's another way. Um, order takeout. A lot of our restaurants have curbside and takeout menus. We will, we're working on a link, a quick link on our website that'll take you to a directory of all of our um, restaurants that are providing takeout and um, curbside. And also engage with businesses on social media. Uh, if you're not following a lot of our, our small business um, pages, please do so. Look them up, um, like them so that you're following them. And then engage, uh, comment, like their posts. Um, and even more so, share their posts. And speaking of sharing, you know, when, when people share online, uh, what I, a tip that I give people is share with a comment. If the person that's sharing that, if they were to put a little comment in there on why they're sharing it, it gets a lot more eyes than if they just hit the share button and move on. Uh, you know, people in their group are like, why did so-and-so share this? Well, if they put a little comment there, that goes a lot further and that really helps local businesses out a lot. Absolutely, and the businesses can see the shares. So, um, that kind of encourages them to see that, that we're all out there, we're supporting them, we're rooting for them. Um, so yes, please do so. Well, Gay, thank you so much for taking time today to bring us up to date. If we need to circle around in a week or so and, and bring people more up to date, we'll be happy to do that. And now more than ever, we need people to buy and shop locally and support the businesses that have been supporting your baseball team, your event for all these years. We all need your help and thank you. And Gay, thanks again for stopping in. We'll talk to you soon. Sure, thanks Dwayne.